uh, there appears to be a looming labor unrest as various worker groups threaten strikes over salary disparities and what they describe as unfair conditions of service. The University Teachers Association, the Ghana Medical Association and other worker groups say they are becoming increasingly frustrated with government's failure to adhere to agreements signed on the salary increments. Let's go to... Um, Let's speak with UTAG. Uh, its president, Professor Charles Marfo, has joined uh, shortly. Professor uh, Marfo, I'm grateful for your time on the polls. Um, what did you resolve at your meeting that just ended? Well, we had a meeting with the lawyers to advise us as the way forward. And then apparently the advice is that we can also go to the court. Because the government has served an injunction on us, an interrogatory injunction. And we are also seeking to set it aside. Well, um, I hope you know the um, ramifications of setting this aside. Why do you want to set it aside? Because we think that uh, the interrogatory injunction is not right. That's all. That's what our lawyers advised us. But you've been meeting with government. I remember last week uh, you were in a crunch meeting with government. Um, what was the outcome of that meeting? Nothing. No, nothing was. Nothing substantial was reached, and that is why government itself says uh, there was a stalemate. So nothing was reached. I mean, I guess that is why the center started to look at injunction, and so we are just following suit. I mean, what, 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 that, what exactly was your position and government's position? The reason why you could not reach consensus. Well, we have put forward our condition of service issues. Government thinks it cannot meet our demand. They are making proposals. That is why we, are, we have said it. They make proposals, we make proposals. We could not come to agreement. And the meeting ended. Prof. Marfo, um, I'll have you hold for me a minute because I have Deputy Minister for Labor Relations, uh, Bright Rekubru Bey, who joins us shortly. Um, Honorable, I'm, I'm grateful for your time. Now, the National Labor Commission is headed back to court to cite uh, the uh, UTAG for contempt or for breaching the for refusing to go back to the classroom in spite of injunction placed on their industrial action. Now, what? How do you react to this? All right. So before we hear from the minister, let's listen to the National Labour Commission's uh, General Secretary of Samoa, who says the lecturer's response to the court order um, is, is a, a clear violation. If the court has spoken and the party decides to defy the orders of the court. And then we should take the person to court. So you are taking UTAC to court? Yes, we have to go back if they defy the court order. Mm, mm. Um, when will this be? That should be tomorrow. Okay. What, what are you going to seek from the court? We are going to seek compliance and punitive action for defying the court order. What, what kind of punitive action would you be asking for? We will be citing them for contempt. So if the court finds them guilty of contempt, then the court will apply the punitive it once. So is your expectation that, for instance, Professor Marfo, a president of Utah, would be jailed? Oh, no, I don't expect him to be jailed. He has to beg his contempt. Mm. Mm. That because I was simply asking that because it's part of the spectrum. Of, of yes, sanctions. Part of it, but it's for the court is to decide. But I don't wish him like that. I mean, Ghana prisons are not too good to go. I mean, it's not good. So, Prof. Mafo, you heard um, Ms. Ofosa Samoa there talking about going to court to compel you to go back to the classroom. What do you say to this? I think they've done that already with the interrogatory injunction, and that is why I told you we have also asked our lawyers to follow suit. I mean, the lawyers advise that we also go to court. I mean, that is why we are at court. I mean, once they file our position that the 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 the, the judgment should be set aside, I guess there will be no case.
But if that is not the case, I mean, I'm sure they will advise us exactly what to do. Prof. Ma, for how long do you intend to continue with this strike? Indefinitely. All right. So hold on for me. Um, Mr. Bright Rekobrobe, thankfully, has joined us. Uh, Mr. Rekobrobe, um, last week you were in a meeting and you assured us that government will do everything to resolve this. Why are we here? Asha, good afternoon and good afternoon to your listeners. Uh, your question is interesting. I would even also ask why are we here? Uh, you know, like I always say, labor and government or um, the, the, the employer are more or less akin to matrimonial courses. It worries me a lot when we have to be in the public domain and you know, arguing like this and talking like this and even how far we have to come. There's opportunity for us to still talk. All government is saying is that let us call up the strike. Let's not use the students as bargaining chips. Let's allow them to go through what they are going through and then write their exam in the face of COVID. Parents are anxious. The government itself is anxious. I know most of these lecturers are not happy with what is going on. So why can't we come back to the negotiating table and talk? Why can't we come back? We are ready. If they want to meet us tonight, we are ready. Then we meet and talk about the issues. In any case, if this strike should persist for God knows how long, we will still get back to the table and talk. With all due respect, my learned professors and lecturers, let us see that ultimately our children in these schools are all we have. They are human resources, and they are training them. If we take even about a month or two resolving the issue, government will always go back if we agree, to even pay a rent. So why are we here, Asha? Why are we here? Uh, Mr. Brobe, um, last week's meeting was supposed to resolve this uh, matter um, once and for all. Um, what is government's position that is actually um, irritating the uh, teachers that they are refusing to go back to the classroom? What I hear now is that uh, our, our lecturers are saying that the fact that government has even gone to National Labor Commission is what is irritating them. That not to suffice. They are also saying that we need to look at their salary readjustment and restore them. And that government's position is that is a no-go area because all of us are public workers and we all are on the single spine. So we cannot single them out at this point when we have had base pay negotiations done by public services joint. And so we are appealing to them that let us rather look at their conditions of service, which we have largely looked at, but for one or two. They are, we, are, we are now on the table basically looking at research allowance, which is more peculiar to our lecturers. Government is ready now, 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 now for us to sit and talk. That is where we are, Aisha. Now, um Professor Marfo, um, the minister, you heard him right there. He says that government's doors are still open and that you can go back to the table. Are you willing to do that? Oh, yes. Our doors are also open. We are still, if they call us tonight, we will come. Uh, Mr. Reku Brobe, um, have you reached out to UTAG um, to um, come back onto the table, like you say? Asha, as per the dictates of the law, you know, we, once we begin to talk, it means that there's no still be. And therefore, the other party must not be on strike. That's what we are saying. Just call off your strike and come and let's talk. Like I said, if it should take us three weeks, one month, and so, if it's even two months, government has done it before. We always go back and pay whatever you are due by way of arrear. So just call off your strike. Let the, the anxieties on campuses reduce. You, you may get people taking advantage of this and going and coming home in the face of this COVID. It doesn't help anybody. Parents are worried. So I'm appealing to our lecturers. I'm appealing to them. Let's put humanity first. It is not as if there is nothing on the table. We are talking. Whatever it is, we are talking. So I'm appealing. I'm, appeal, I'm using your medium to appeal to them that indeed, 
if they are listening to me now, through the president, through my minister, through the minister for finance, through well, uh, all those people who matter, we are appealing to them to let's come back and negotiate. Uh, Mr. Rekubo, but what exactly are you offering them? Because they've made a demand. Have you met them halfway? What exactly have you offered them that they are refusing? Well, that, that is a boardroom discussion with them. Uh, it, it's about the RSX allowance. And we are looking at a roadmap. So both of us know where we are. For now, if they have agreed that we should be talking, then we are on the same thing. We are just listening to them tonight that they will ask their, 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 their students that they should go back and do their work. And then whilst we, they, they, they come for us to continue the negotiation, that is all. Professor Mafo, is this something that you are considering? As I told you, if they invite us tonight, we will be there. Would you ask your members to call off the strike so you go back to the table? The members will call off the strike when the right is hard. You see, as we speak, the last time, I mean, the uh, Honorable Prove has spoken so well, and uh, it's somebody I admire, so sometimes I don't even want to debate him or that the whole point is this. The last time we met, we were told clearly that uh, we are in a stalemate, so nothing is on the table. We said what is even on the table has been withdrawn. Am I lying? It's true. And so now if we say there's an opportunity for us to get back, we are also ready to come. But just as they want us to call up the site, why are they why are they in court? As a sign of good faith, maybe they should have also not gone to court and say, Oh, why did you went to court and you said that now that uh, you, uh, uh, earlier on you said it was withdrawn anything, there is no more offer on the table. Now if it is not that case, then you should also not go to court and call us back to the table. Okay. So you want a withdrawal of uh, the um issue from court, then you can go back to the table. I think so, because I mean, otherwise, how do we go back to the table? But if I mean, you say the right thing should be done, what, in your opinion, are the right things? That is what I, I said. I mean, you can't come into the table when you are also in court, just as they don't want us to be on strike. Uh, as we Aisha, are Aisha, uh, with all due respect, I, I, I am throwing a gesture at Professor Mafu. He should meet me tomorrow morning. We go to Labor Commission. Uh, the two of us are, are, are the people in court. He should meet me. Let's go there. Let's appeal to them. Withdraw the case that you also cause of the strike. Then we we'll sit to negotiate. Deal? I, I'm ready to do, to do this 9 a.m. tomorrow. Professor Ma, for deal? I think uh, that is why I said this minister is one of the. <laughs> most uh, realistic guys I've ever met. And uh, for him alone, I can say this, but he knows where I am. And I'm right. If this, uh, this people have spoken this to us, maybe we wouldn't be where we are today. Okay. You know. So for me, it's a welcoming news for, for him to have said that. Mm. I'll put it on right before my people immediately. Mm. Because we just had the meeting and we, we never had things like this. Okay. So 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, we should expect no, a he meeting. No, he knows I'm in Kumasi, so maybe he's just saying that it is possible. But he knows I'm in Kumasi. Okay, so Mr. Reko 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, he should I, come to I, Accra. I am in Accra, so I'll wait for him. In the meantime, I will, I will show gratitude to Professor Mafu and team. And I am still appealing to them. Tomorrow, I'll be waiting for him. I'll avoid I'll all engagements. Uh, Any time he reaches Accra, I, I, I will go with him to Labour Commission and ensure we all do the needful. While uh, I will appeal to Labour Commission and withdraw the case, then he also uh, will ensure that the, 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 the strike is called off. So we can get back to the table. So, Professor Mafu, now that we have a deal, would you ask your members to I'm go back to the to classroom? Mm. Because, I mean, as uh, I've told you, the few times you have gone to government, he and his boss has always, uh, have been the only solace we have had. Mm. And he knows that. Okay. 
So you go to your members and speak to them and decide whether they would want to yes, go back yes, to the yes. classroom or that. not. I will do that immediately. Okay, so what, what exactly are you going to do? Are they go? Are you going to ask them to go back to the classroom? I, I think you heard what the honourable minister said. That is exactly what I'm going to put. That you are going to meet him tomorrow morning, but you are not going to call off the strike yet. Asha, you are pushing this. I have to tell them. I'm sure if they they know uh, this good uh, this kind of. Uh, exhibition of good faith being exhibited by this honorable minister. Mm. Definitely, they also have uh, that sense of uh, coming to the table, and we do the right things. I'm grateful for your time, Professor. So, so Aisha, uh, let, let me also put on record okay. that right from your discussion, mm. I'm going to meet with my ministers mm -hmm. and appeal to them that I have put this offer on the table, and that tomorrow I'm expecting Prof. Mafu and team to come. You go with them to Labour Commission, arrest whatever uh, engagement they want to have with us, so that they also call off their strike, and then we continue to engage. Right. Having settled that, UTAG isn't the only group on strike. We have Ghana National Association of Teachers. We have GMA also threatening strike. At the moment, the Senior Staff Association is also on strike. What has become of the issues tabled by these unions, Mr. Brobe? Uh, the Senior Staff Association, uh, as we speak, they assured me firmly after uh, Thursday's engagement at Labor Commission that they were going to meet. You know, the rules of engagement for union are that once we go to Labor Commission, whatever the ruling is, they need to get to their neck and then take a decision. So they assured me, based on the good faith, that we displayed at the Labour Commission. They assured me that they will call off their strike after their next meeting, and I am sure that today we are back to work. Mm. Uh, you may cross-check, and try, but they assured me that they will go back to work. On the matter, on the substantive issue, we also dealt with, on, on Wednesday, we are meeting on their substantive matter. Okay. And then uh, we are given one month by Labour Commission to resolve it. Mm. So in good faith, the two of us have resolve to work together towards an amicable solution. That is, that, that, that is the issue with SSE. Mm. For Ghana Medical Association, we are grateful to them for giving us a roadmap. You know, we have broken their conditions of service with them, except the implementation. They have prompted government through their press release that some of their conditions of service are not being implemented. So it's a wake-up call. Uh, my minister discussed with me this morning. We are taking it up seriously. Look at areas where uh, it's not been ironed out and then ensure that implementation is done before even they get to their roadmap where services will be withdrawn. We don't want to get to that stage. So that is what will happen. Uh, Mr. Rekobobe, I believe you agree with me that this is a situation we don't want to um, hold on for long, especially with Ghana Medical Association threatening to go on strike in October. And I want to ask a question. Is there crisis on the labor front? At all, at all. Aisha, I wouldn't call that crisis at all. The only sounding question that they have broken something with government. And they, they, they have been looking at how far we are implementing. They find the implementation pace quite low. And they want the, the, the government to ensure speedy implementation. And that is exactly what we are going to do. So uh, the, the roadmap that they have given, we will get there. This is not a matter of crisis on the labor front. I beg, please withdraw that word. It mm. is not at all. Uh, do you want to give timelines as to when you would resolve each and every one of the union's um, demands that they've tabled before you? I, I am unable to do that on the store of the moment. But there are matters on our table that we are looking at. So uh, by all means, we, we will make sure we have the peace that we have enjoyed in the labor front continue to exist. And you can assure us that the Ghana Medical Association won't go on strike even in the midst of COVID-19? God willing, Ghanaians will experience peace on the industrial front. Right, Riku Brobe is the Labour and Employment, uh, Deputy Minister for Labour and Employment Ministry. I'm grateful for your time. Here's a news desk report we have put together on the agitation 
on the labour front. Activities at the country's public universities have come to a halt over the last few days after the University Teachers Association and the Senior Staff Association decided to withdraw their services. UTAC declared a nationwide strike from August 2, accusing government of delay in the negotiations of their conditions of service. They are demanding government reviews the current rate of research allowance payable in 2012, among others. Dr. Eric Abavare is National Secretary of UTAC. Both agreements were just the peripheral. The peripheral here means that there were issues to partially address do not constitute the core of our concern. And the core of our concern got to do with the restoration of our emolument or our salary. Newly elected General Secretary of the University of Ghana branch of UTAC, Professor Ransford Jampo, says they will continue with their strike in spite of a court injunction restraining them. The fight has just started. Lecturers on the various campuses have voted to continue with their strike action. So what would they do to these lecturers? Arrest all of them to prison? Well, let us see. Let them come arrest all of us and send us to prison. We'll go and demonstrate there. Health workers are also threatening strike. The Ghana Medical Association has served notice of total withdrawal of services by October 15 if long-standing issues of salary and other conditions of service are not met. Dr. Justice Youngson is General Secretary of the GMA. We have done more than enough in terms of what we have to discharge by way of our work. The onus is now on the employer to also ensure that they meet in full their side of the bargain. There's also tension brewing amongst members of the Ghana National Association of Teachers, which has rejected the recent 4% salary increment for public sector workers. Several other unions, including the Trades Union Congress, had earlier rejected same and demanded a review to reflect the growing income gap between Article 71 office holders and ordinary government workers. Philippa Larson is not president. The current system of remuneration in the public sector is not fair. It favors some categories of office holders in the public service. And we are not going to agree. Meanwhile, the Director of Labor Research and Policy with the Trades Union Congress, Dr. Kwabnanya Kuotu, says the union is under pressure from its members to call a strike in protest against the 4% salary adjustment for public sector workers. We also have the issue of pay inequity in the public service. Now, we need a presidential commission on wages and salaries. 